Hello, awesome Michaels. Uh, welcome back. I hope you've had a good Easter break um, and I hope everyone's staying safe and looking after the brilliant NHS by protecting them and stopping them from being overloaded. Now, uh, this week's ICT challenge is going to be asking you to get up and get creative because let's face it, some of you will have spent a little bit too much time in front of those screens over Easter. So let's get up, let's get out and I'll show you what the challenge is. Wow, art. Your challenge is going to be to recreate a piece of art. Could be a sculpture, could be painting. Model it yourselves, recreate it and take a photograph of it and send it in. It's not so easy as it sounds though. I'll explain more. I know, you're thinking, what's this got to do with IT? Well, when we're designing systems, we've got to plan, design, implement, test and refine. That's exactly what's going on here. You need to choose, you've got to search for your photo or your painting or your piece of art that you're going to recreate. You've got to think about the equipment that you're going to need to recreate it. Then you've got to think about your composition, all of your lighting, the angle, what position you're going to be setting your camera in, what sort of zoom or whether you're going to be be close up whether it's from below or above so you've got to get the angle and the lighting and everything just perfect to try to recreate your piece of art so that's in the planning and design stage and then implementing it then we'll talk a bit more about how you're going to refine that and make it even better as you move forwards so you've got your costume you've set your scene you've got the backdrop you've taken your photo you're done right no think about it You've got your original piece of art, you've got your photo. Now you really need to test and compare, check to see what differences there are, see if you can make this photo even better. Think about the lighting again, think about what position people's bodies are in or, or what, what the costumes are doing and just try to get the facial expression and everything just perfect. It's not easy, that's the whole point of it, but compare them. Think, I've got my two pictures, what shall I do? Okay, finally. Compare your photo with the original piece of artwork once more. Do you need to crop it a little, bring it a little bit tighter, or reframe it? Perhaps you could use some of the filters on your phone to get the effect that you're after. If maybe you're looking for a slightly blurred or a slightly soft focus, that, that can be achieved. Um, maybe you've got to tone down the colours. Whatever it is, there's filters on your phone that you can potentially use to make it even better. Okay, all done? Great. Upload it to Google Classroom and submit it. I'll add a few bits of advice and some, some examples in the, in the Google Classroom description and task. Have a look at those. But remember, the more adventurous you go with this, the more fun you'll have. Good luck. Happy photographing. Oh, one last thing, nearly forgot. Try to keep the backgrounds as nondescript and as plain as possible. I don't want to recognise anybody's rooms or houses or anything from it, so sheets, towels, whatever you want in the background, grass, trees is fine, fences, bricks, okay, whatever, but just keep them really plain and boring so we don't recognise anybody's houses and we don't see books and personal information in the background. Perfect. Thank you. Hold well on.